Welcome to Aviation This Week on Channels Television. I'm Victoria Ido. It's another time for us to get on board together for another 25 minutes. Safety is a major concern for everyone who flies or contemplates it. But one thing you should know is that no other form of transportation is as regulated and monitored as commercial aviation. And while authorities strive to maintain safety standards for landing facilities, airspace management and operating aircraft, airports and terminals must not be left out. On this edition of the program, we will examine the state of infrastructure at the five major international terminals in Nigeria. Airports are a major part of a country's infrastructure, fostering economic activities by encouraging international commerce and tourism. This gives them a significant role in globalization, connecting cities and countries. Constant infrastructure upgrades of airport facilities, especially remodeling runways, is important because it helps prevent any form of accident and ensures smooth operations. In Nigeria, the federal government has not taken this for granted. A two-phase national airport remodeling exercise commenced in 2012 with 11 airports in each phase. The project was initiated during the tenure of former Minister of Aviation, Stella Odua. At that time, the General Aviation Terminal at the Mutala Muhammad International Airport in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, was rebuilt, while the 40-year-old structure was expanded, creating room for maximum passenger capacity of about 400 at peak periods, especially on the D-Wing. The external facade of the MMIA and other infrastructure were also remodeled in 2014. This year, the airport has undergone some form of rehabilitation at the boarding gates, signages at different entry points, the escalator, the visa on arrival section and others. The general manager, Corporate Communication, says such exercise will cut across other airports. When um, Yemi Osebanjo was the acting president, he paid an unscheduled visit to the Mutala Mohammed International Airport and gave marching orders to Fan MD that um, he wanted all the facilities and equipment at the airport to be functional. So not too long after that, the MD gave marching orders to our engineers. And so work has started. We are working on our travelators, we are working on our escalators, working on the lifts and our toilets. That is why there's a first lift going on there right now. Right now, work is ongoing at the Portacord International Airport. You know, the two terminals, the existing terminal is being remodeled, and then the other terminal that was started by the previous government. So work is going on on two terminals right now at Portacord. Work is also going on at the Enugu I mean, um, um, Airport right now, and then the Mutala Mohammed International Airport. Once we're done with this, then we'll go to the um, other remaining airports. Now to the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, serving air passengers in Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital territory. The runway, which was constructed in 1982, was meant to be rehabilitated after 20 years. But it has been in use for 35 years without major repairs. Just recently, the federal government took the bull by the horn to give the Abuja Airport terminal a facelift fixing the asphalt layer and safety markings on the runway and the airfield lighting installations. And uh, the next big thing that we'll do is that we'll concession those four airports, Lagos, uh, Abuja, Portacot and Kano. And in the next phase, we'll take uh, airports like Ignugu and so on. And then we hand them over and we are not selling them and uh, we will not sell uh, people's property. Uh, we will concession it and then, of course, after a certain number of years, it will be returned to the people. While some passengers applauded this move, many found it difficult to cope with the period of closure. The uh, markings are very good. We could see them from very far, nearly 10 miles. The uh, landing surface is also very nice, it's smooth. We don't get uh, that bump we used to have six weeks ago. I think we are moving in the right direction. But I hope government will look into uh, approving a second uh, runway. Some of us that 
didn't pay our children's school fees before the closure, it was bad. We had to borrow from dependents. And even this, our dependents, the people that are depending on us, they also suffered. The Akanui Ibiam International Airport in Enugu, southeast Nigeria, is one of the five international airports in the country operated by FAN. With its runway measuring 3,000 meters in length and 45 meters in width, the airport records six domestic operations on a daily basis and international presence three times a week. According to the airport manager, the facilities are of international standards. We have equipment that meets with the standards required by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. Uh, we have the instrument landing system, we have the airfield lighting, we have every other equipment that is very necessary for a uh, very safe landing of aircraft. But there's room for improvement according to passengers who are appealing to the airport management to fine-tune the communication process. I think a lot of the staff don't know what's, what's supposed to be happening. So people, are, other staff members are doing stuff that other staff members aren't aware of, and so there's not a lot of communication. I think they need to work on the 